This is how to cure lack and limitation. Check this out. Joseph Murphy tells a story of the time a sales manager sent one of his guys to him for counseling. And this salesman was a brilliant college graduate. He knew his products very well in this lucrative space. But here's the thing. He was only making about $5,000 annually in commissions. And the sales manager felt that he should double or triple that. And when Murphy was talking to the young guy, he saw that he was really down on himself and that he had developed, listen, a subconscious pattern of $5,000 a year. The guy said he was born into a poverty-stricken home and that his parents told him that he was destined to be poor. And if that wasn't already bad enough, his stepdad always told him that he'd never amount to anything. Was it true? Well, it didn't have to be, but it was for him. Because their words, these thoughts, were accepted by his impressionable mind. And therefore, he was experiencing lack and limitation. So Murphy explained to him that he could change his subconscious. How? By feeding it with life-giving patterns. By feeding it with life-giving patterns. And that he should, under no circumstances, deny what he affirmed. Because his subconscious would accept whatever he believed. Then Murphy gave him a mental and spiritual formula to follow that would transform his life. Here's what the guy affirmed every morning before going to work. Ready? I'm born to succeed. The infinite within me can fail. Divine law and order govern my life. Divine peace fills my soul. Divine love saturates my mind. Infinite intelligence guides me in all ways. God's riches flow to me freely. I'm advancing, moving forward, and growing mentally, spiritually, financially, and in all other ways. I know these truths are sinking into my subconscious mind, and they will grow after their kind. It's kind of long, but it's powerful for the person who believes it, right? A year later, Joseph Murphy saw him again, but this time, things were completely different. And he said to Murphy, I'm appreciating life now, and wonderful things have happened. I've had an income of $25,000 this year, five times greater than the previous year. Boom. Now, $25,000 may not seem like a lot, but remember, this was back in the day. And to jump from 5K to 25K in one year, that's impressive. You know what I'm saying? Okay, the point, what you believe, what you feel, you attract. What you imagine, you become. So if you feel lack and poverty, guess what? You'll get more of it, no matter how many action steps you take. However, and this is the good news, if you can feel wealth, you will produce wealth, no matter what your circumstances are. Understand that your mind is like a pen, that whatever you write on it frequently will manifest in your world, good, bad, or indifferent. It'll respond exactly according to the impressions made upon it. Is this making sense? So from now on, don't rely on the limited amount of money you have in the bank or on your quote-unquote stable job. No. Look to the infinite source within you. God, your invisible means of support. So try this. Type in the comments below, God's riches flow to me freely. Do that now. And begin claiming guidance, abundance, wealth, security, peace, and so on. And just keep writing these things over and over again on your mind creating a new pattern, then just watch. What you feel will reproduce themselves after their kind, drawing more and more riches into your life because you get what you believe. Yeah. All right, if you appreciate this video, hit that like and subscribe button and that bell to help support my channel. And if you're ready to live the life you really want, then yo, click the link below to learn more about Law of Assumption Mastery, how to manifest anything the Neville Goddard way. Like I always say, more's coming. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.